In this video, I'm going to show you how to design an interior like this one using Affinity Publisher. If you want to, you can follow along with the tutorial either by using Affinity Publisher or another similar software. But just make sure that you create your own and that you don't copy this one or anybody else's interior. So the interior that we're creating is for a niche that I found which is called Important Dates Book. And as you can see here that there's a good amount of demand for this niche. I would consider this niche to be sort of in the range of medium demand and medium competition and if you want me to make a video about my niche research criteria then let me know down in the comments below but anyway what i did was i opened up a few books just to check their interiors and to get an idea of what i would be creating myself the next thing i did was just draw out a rough interior on a piece of paper which is something that i do so that when it comes to creating the interior itself it becomes a lot more easier and also what i like to do is jot down the interior size the potential price as well as how many pages i want my interior to be and most of the time I also jot down a couple of additional features which I want my interior to have so that it's differentiated from the competition and also provides more value to customers. So in this case what I decided to do was to include a couple of pages for writing notes and coming up with gift ideas after each month. So we're going to create the interior now so what you want to do is open up Affinity Publisher and then once that's loaded I'm going to click on new document and over here I'm just going to make sure that it's set according to the size and specifications I want my interior to be. So you can see that it's already set here. So my interior is going to be 6 times 9 inches. DPI is going to remain at 300. My number of pages are going to be 120. And over here you can see that facing pages is selected. So I don't need facing pages. So I'm just going to deselect this. And then over here, I'm just going to leave it as CMYK, but you can also choose RGB. I've tried both and to be honest, when it comes to these black and white interiors, it doesn't really matter. My margins for this interior is going to be 0.55 inches. So I'm just going to click on this chain icon here and then type in 0.55 inches. For this particular interior, I don't need a bleed, so I'm just going to put it as zero. And then I'm going to click on create. So you can see I've got a new document open here. When you create something on Affinity Publisher, what you want to do is work on the master page. You don't want to work on these pages. And the reason for this is because whatever you do on the master page, it copies onto the actual pages. So to give you an example, let me just draw out a square on the master page. And you can see that by doing so, it also appears on the other pages. Now, if I was to resize this and make it smaller, you can see that it changes on the other pages as well. So moving on to the next part, I decided that each of my pages are going to contain spaces for four dates. So I'm just going to draw lines according to that. So I'm just going to click on this pen tool here and draw out my first line. So I'm just going to click here and then hold on to shift and then click on the opposite side. So you can see I've got my first line. So I'm just going to make it thicker by clicking on this stroke box here and then just making it thicker using the up arrow on my keyboard. The next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this line and the easiest way to do this is you hold on to option on your keyboard if you're using a Mac and on Windows the equivalent button. So I'm just going to drag this underneath to make a copy. I'm also holding down the shift key so that it remains in line with the top one. And then I'm just going to duplicate both of these to make it quicker. And then duplicate it once again. Now I'm going to select all of them and make the spacing equal. So I'm going to click on this button here, this alignment button. And over here where it says align vertically, I'm going to click on this button here. And then I'm going to untick this and then type in a figure that I want, which in my case is 0 0.7 centimeters. And then click on this button twice. So first time and then second time. And then it aligns everything into place with equal spacing. And then click on apply. Now I'm going to group all of these together. So I'm going to right click on it and then click on group. Now I'm able to move all of them together as a collective unit. The next thing I'm going to do is copy these three times. So once again, holding down the option key, I'm just going to drag them below to create copies. The next thing I want is for all of these units to be spaced out equally. So I'm going to select all of them, click on the alignment button once again. And then just click on this button here, align vertically. So now you can see they're all spaced equally. The next thing I'm going to do is add my month labels. So I'm just going to click on the text tool and then just draw it out here. 
and then I'm just going to type in January and then for the size I'll just put it to 42 and then at this stage what you want to do is find a font that you like and something that goes well with the interior so in my case I chose a font lovely letters so I'm just going to search for this font and then apply it and then I'm just going to move this to the top and then notice on the side that all of my pages they all have January on them which is okay for now and what we're going to do later on is go into each of these pages individually and correct the labels but for now we'll just leave it as it is and move on to the next part which is to create dates for these sections now one way of doing this is just create individual boxes like so and then just add in the dates but that's going to look too boring and too simple so what I decided to do was download a graphics from vecteasy.com so this is my graphics of choice and I'm just going to download it and because I'm using Affinity Publisher I'm going to use Affinity Designer to edit it usually I use Adobe Illustrator but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to use Affinity Designer and you can see that I have my graphics open here so I can use any of these uh, but the issue is you can see that the color is blue whereas KDP interiors for the most part they're black and white so because of this I need to change the color so what I'm going to do is just create an artboard on the side and then I'm just going to copy one of these calendars onto it so holding down the option key I'm just going to create a copy and then I'm just going to change the color by selecting all of these elements and then clicking on a black color or a gray color in my case I'm just going to use a gray color and then I'm going to delete these elements here I'm going to group this together by selecting it and then clicking on command and then G and then I'm going to click on command and then C to copy it and then I'm going to paste it on my interior by clicking on command and then V and then I'm just going to make it smaller I'm going to place it over here so just over the second line I'm using my arrows here to just put it into place and you can see that on the side bits of the lines are showing so I'm just going to move it over to the side to cover the lines the next thing I'm going to do is place a text box on top of this and then type in the number 0 and then align it to the center and then I'm going to click on this button here to also align it vertically I'm going to choose my chosen font and then I'm just going to resize it the next thing I'm going to do is group both of these together and then create copies for the other dates so I'm just holding on to shift and option here to do that and this one here it should go on the second line and you can see here that if the pages for each month have four spaces then I'm going to need eight pages in total for each month and as I mentioned previously I'm going to have pages allocated for notes so because of this what I'm going to do is clear out two pages after each month so for the first page it's going to be pages 9 and 10 so I'm just going to remove the masters by right clicking on it and then clearing the masters the next two pages I'm going to clear are going to be pages 19 and 20 and then like this do the same thing for the remainder of the interior and then once that's done what you want to do is go through the entire interior and then change the labels to February, March, April etc so this one's going to be February and then I'm just going to copy this and then just paste it onto the next seven pages
and like this you want to adjust all of the labels and then once that's done you want to go through the pages again and add in the dates so one here two three four and then go all the way until you've added all of the dates so in january there's a total of 31 days so this one's going to be 29 30 and then this one's going to be 31 and then there's an extra one here so you can just leave it as it is or in my case what i did was i just typed in x and then once that's done you want to create the notes pages which we're going to use to fill out the additional two pages after each month so what i'm going to do is just duplicate this by clicking on this button here and then if i scroll down you can see that now there's a master b so i'm just going to select this master b and then what I'm going to do is just remove all of these additional elements. And then for the label, I'm just going to change it to gift ideas slash notes. I'm just going to align that to the center. Ungroup these. Create some additional lines to fill up the spaces and then select all of these click on the alignment button align vertically type in 0 0.7 centimeters and then click on this button twice so you can see that there's additional lines at the bottom and I'm just going to delete them the next thing I'm going to do is locate these empty pages highlight them right click click on apply master and then this time apply master b and then click on ok so what you want to do is do that for all of the blank pages after each month and then once that's done you should have your completed interior so if i scroll down you can see that i've got january here two blank pages then february two blank pages and then so on until December but once you're at this stage you don't want to just leave it because when it comes to creating these calendar interiors um, there's a high chance that you'll make mistakes and you know if the customer comes across them they won't be happy and there's a chance that they leave negative reviews so you don't want that so what you want to do is you want to create a checklist like I have and then just go through these checks one by one to make sure that your interior doesn't have any quality issues and once you've gone through your quality checks you want to export the interior so you want to click on file export select PDF and then over here you can see that I selected PDF flatten which is something that KDP wants and what this does is it flattens everything you know all the elements all the text so that you can no longer edit them on the PDF version so you want to select this setting here and then click on export I'm just going to name my version to version 1.0 and then click on save so now I have my completed interior here you can see that there's 120 pages and if you like this video and if you found it beneficial then don't forget to like it and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.